Rights groups have requested an immediate investigation into the death of Emirati dissident and activist Ala Siddiq. Meanwhile, Hamas described Israel's blocking of aid to Gaza as blackmail. Find out why this movie is receiving a great deal of backlash. And finally, Qatar Red Crescent Society is calling on the community to donate to a refugee vaccination campaign. Hello, I'm Farah and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Following the death of prominent Emirati dissident and former political asylum seeker Ala Siddiq, a US-based rights group has called for an immediate investigation into her tragic death. The group, Democracy for the Arab World Now, has urged UK authorities to probe the London crash that ended the life of the 33-year-old dissident. According to the rights group, this is necessary to ensure no foul play was involved, considering Al Sadiq's vocal critique of the UAE and its normalization with Israel. Al Sadiq sought political asylum in Qatar in 2012. Moving on to the Gaza Strip, where Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar has urged for the entry of Qatari aid into the besieged enclave. The Hamas official accused Israel of continuing to blackmail the Palestinian resistance by withholding the entry of much needed aid into the Gaza Strip. In a meeting with the United Nations Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, Sinwar demanded that $30 million of a monthly Qatari grant be transferred to Gaza. However, Sinwar Sinwad reported that the meeting went poorly and warned Israel that it will face action if it continues to refuse the entry of aid into the Gaza Strip. Now, an Emirati-funded film is facing backlash online. The Hollywood movie titled The Misfits has come under scrutiny for appearing to frame Qatar as a terrorist state in a bid to discredit the Gulf nation. In the flick, Qatar is referred to as Jaziristan, a nation whose citizens support terrorist organizations. The movie also went to describe Qatar-based Muslim scholar Sheikh Yusuf al-Qaradawi as the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood and the sponsor of global terrorism. In one scene, a red Lekhwaya car is seen, in clear reference to Qatar's Lekhwaya internal security force. The movie was filmed and financed by Emirati-owned independent film production company Filmgate Production. It was also produced by Emirati producer, director and writer Mansour al-Dahri. And finally, if you're vaccinated, it's time to pay it forward. The Qatar Red Crescent Society is calling on the community to donate to its new campaign to help vaccinate refugees around the world against COVID-19. The campaign aims to raise around $100 million in donation to help as many people in need as possible. That was it for me today, but for more of our stories, head on to DohaNews.com.